What's good, everybody? Welcome back. And today, are we still ranked? Sadly, the answer to that question is a big fat no. We have lost two games in a row here with Kent State, man. It's, it's, it was bad. We, we could have had a very, very good season and possibly a very, very good bowl game to go to. After that, during that Georgia Tech game, before that Georgia Tech game, we were ranked number nine. After it, we were ranked number 20. Then we lose again to Akron. Akron, I believe we are like one and three versus them so far in this dynasty. Maybe it's like one and, and five or two and four. I, I don't know. I can't do math. Don't mind me. All I do know is that with a win here, we do improve our chances of possibly getting ranked before the regular season is up or before the bowl games really start, all right? So we have our conference championship game. It's in Detroit, Ford Field. Hopefully good things can happen for Kent State. Can we get our 10th win of the season right here, right now? Eastern Michigan, they are the opponent. It's Michigan versus Ohio. Not really, but you know what I mean. Holly, I don't know what that was. I don't know why I was facing that way, but... Bad things seem to happen to me on special teams. And the whole team has had the case of the fumbles the last three weeks. Georgia Tech, we fumbled the ball like crazy. Akron, we fumbled the ball like crazy. And now we're down by seven just like that. Flores, if you can hang on to the ball, I greatly appreciate it. And he does so. We don't get to the 20. We're going to kick things off at the 17-yard line. Penn, he's going to pitch it. Boy, was that dangerous. But we do pick up the first down gain of 11. From the 28-yard line to give us to Neil, who gets wrapped up and brought down at the gain of just one. Second down and nine. Neil, he gets the carry. Neil trying to turn the corner, and he does, and he does so with mean intentions. Running that DB over, that's what I like to see. Get the ball to Neil again. Falls forward and has a first down, four carries, 37 yards for the big fullback. Big fullback, big tailback, excuse me. Second down and 10. Our formation, looking downfield, is pinned after the play. Fake, thrown in the traffic, and that pass will fall incomplete. Looking downfield is pinned. We got to have it, and I don't know what that was, boy. Oh, boy, it was ugly. So first down and 10 from the 20. Love fakes it. Love has time. Throws it. How is that not at least batted away? Instead, it's a reception for Garcia, and he's a happy man. They're going to throw it to Burton, who makes the catch, and is going to be holding on the play, so bring it on back. First down and 20. Instead of second down and short, and Love is loose. And Love is escaping us. And Cupid ain't there to give you no love. And love going to take that thing to the crib. Touchdown. Crossing the goal line with the football as their quarterback on a 70-70 yard scamper. So Holly from his own goal line up to the 20, up to the 30. Runs into his own man but does get us outside of the 30, up to the 34 yard line. That's a good kick return. Giving us some good field position. We got Neil. Looking like a good running back, looking like a great running back, looking like an all-time great running back. He, you know you can do some things, okay? Third down and two, we're going to run the option. Penn, can he get loose? Yes, he can. Up to the 40, crosses the 35 and out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. So first and 10 from the 28, play fake. Penn rolling out, stopping, popping. Nicholas Williams makes the catch, gets the ball over the goal line. Touchdown, Kent State. The Golden Flashes are on a comeback tour. But don't call it a comeback, baby. Don't do that. First down and 10. Play fake. Love. Looking. Find it to who? Corey Neal. True freshman. Breaking ankles. Breaking hearts. Let's go. First down and 10 from the 39-yard line. They give us to Neal. No play fake. Penn going to stop. Penn going to stop and pop. And he throws a strike to Nicholas Williams yet again. First and goal from the eight. Penn, he can keep it if he wants to. No need to pitch it on this play. Okay? The deal is yours. You ain't got to pitch me, baby. You ain't got to. No. Okay? The money is yours. I'm investing no company. No pitch needed. This ain't Shark Tank. First down and 10 for the 24-yard line. They're going to fake it. Love. Looking to throw it. Has the man deep. But Brown is there with tight coverage. And that pass falls incomplete. Now it's second down and 10. Going to go to the air one more time. No, love. Love's going to tuck it away and try to do some. But McCray is there for the stop. Gain of just one. Third down and nine. Huge hit by Strong. We take over from Eastern Michigan's 40-yard line. Here we go. Throwing that thing to Charles. That was a laser. Straight bullet on that pass. And that's going to lead to a first down. Penn under pressure. They rule the fumble. And that's going to lead to a first down going the other way for Eastern Michigan as they recover the ball with some good field position. Love with the play fake. Throws it. Give me that Yahoo. 
say. I said, give me that, yeah, give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. Neil going against the grain. He's going to find some space to operate in the first down for the Golden Flashes. Get the ball to number 10 again. Breaking tackles and breaking hearts, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. So second quarter action now. Can we take the lead? We're going to get the ball to Neil. Breaks. He looked. I, I said he broke a tackle. I, I didn't see it. He did get hit pretty hard, though. Third down and nine. Looking down through this pen. Penn rolling out, gonna drop it off to Rogers. Captain America with the catch. Move those chains. First down. Always get the fullback involved. Looking downfield is Penn. Throwing it to Nicholas Williams, who's coming through in a major way in this game today. Second down and three. Breaking the tackle is Penn. Can he get into the end zone? No, but he will pick up the first down by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. We get the ball to Rogers, and he goes backwards. Second and goal from the five yard line. Penn rolling out. Still rolling. Is he going to throw it? No, he's going to keep it. And he gets into the end zone for the second time today using his feet. He has one through the air, two on the ground. He is everywhere you need him to be. And we're up by seven. Love. Giving us all kinds of love. His second interception, or his third, excuse me, his third interception thrown in the first half. Penn looking downfield. Still looking. Throws it. Are they going to rule the fumble? No, it will be ruled the incompletion. His arm was going forward. We get the ball to Neil. He breaks that tackle that time, but gets gobbled up by three defenders after the initial broken tackle. Looking downfield. Throwing it and caught by Charles. That window was tight, but the pass was perfect. And there's no defense for a perfect pass. Neil trying to get into that end zone. Can't do it on that play. Second down and goal. Penn going on the option, and Penn can. Not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns for our quarterback today. Plus one through the air. He has four, and he is looking pretty good. It is 28 to 14. Can Eastern Michigan, can they mount a comeback? They're going to run the ball to no avail. Second down and 14. Love, he's going to run the ball. He gets a little some summer for William Johnson. Going to lay him down. So third down and 10. Love throws it. That's caught by the tailback, but not enough for the first down. And Eastern Michigan got an exit stage left with a three and out. Taking the shot deep to Charles, and that pass will fall incomplete. Minute 15 on the clock. Second down and 10 from the 46. Going to run the ball with Neil. Neil, he's going to get it. Oh, the spin move was vicious. It was nutritious because it's good for you too. First down and 10. Going to run the ball with Neil. And Neil goes nowhere fast. Loss of three from the 27 now. Second down and 13. Throwing it to Charles who makes the catch. These receivers, they're looking pretty good, man. We're building something here at Kent State. Will we be in the Big Ten one day? I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I don't know. I'm hoping though. Second down and four. Penn throws that thing. And that pass will fall incomplete. Third down and four from the six yard line. Penn gonna pitch it. Neil crosses the goal line. 35 to 14. Kent State is beasting. The Golden Flashes faithful is out there having themselves a good old time here in Detroit, Michigan. We run Michigan. And Michigan can come see us if they want to. Sparty, you too. First down and 10. Play fake. Love throwing that thing. That pass will be caught, but I don't believe he was in bounds. And mama, he was not. I told you the truth, mama. I always tell you the truth. That pass falls incomplete. Third down and 10 from the 25-yard line. Love letting the fly batted away by the homie William Johnson. First down and 10 for Kent State. Get the ball to Flores. Let my homie eat. And he's going to eat a whole bunch of yards. And Eastern Michigan Eagles as well. We're going to run the ball now. Play fake. Penn looking for Turner. I believe last week I called him Hunter. I'm sorry. His name is Turner. First thing goal from the five yard line after the big time catch by Turner. Breaking tackles and getting into the end zone is big Patrick Neal. Respect Patrick Neal because he's an absolute monster. Monster, Wayne. First down and 10 from the 21 yard line. They're going to run it again. Kirk, he's back in the ball game after being shaken up and he's there for the stop. Toss play now. It's going to be a halfback pass. That's caught by Love, but we've seen enough of you and we got no love for you. That's why you out the ball game. Strong and Johnson going to put a hit on you that you ain't never going to forget. You ain't going to forget that. So bring in Broussard. Strong. Stop hitting these boys like that. And then Holly, he's going to make one guy miss. Bounces off of another. Goes against the grain because there's nobody over that side. He has the speed. Does he have the endurance? Yes, he does. Yes, he can. Kick return, punt return of the year. I don't care who it's against. That was pretty 
Stop hating. May, he's going to make the catch, and that's going to lead to a first down as Love is back into the ball game. Love dropping back the pass from the gun, throws it in the traffic. That pass was ugly, ugly. Second down and 10. Now throw that thing. That pass will be broken up as well. So now it's going to be third down and 10. Love looking to let one fly. Rolls to the right. Still rolls. Now he's going to tuck it and run it. Gets brought down. And he's not going to have the first down. They get the ball right back to us. We get the ball to Patrick Neal. He's going to pick up Nada. Not a darn thing on that one. We get the ball to Flores. And he pays the price for trying to run the ball hard and show that he can do things for his mama. Looking downfield. Penn throws it. That's caught by Tim Williams. And we're inside Eastern Michigan territory. Cooking with grease. Grandma's recipe. Extra seasoning, please. We're going to run the ball. No, we're going to play. Fake it. Throw it over the middle. Nothing doing. We're going to run the ball with Neal. Says get off of me. Spin move. Trying to make something happen, but nothing's doing. So third down and 10. Play fake. Looking now. Field again. Set your feet and let her fly. Nicholas Williams makes the catch. Makes the man miss. So we're inside the 10. And now it's the fourth quarter. 49-14, we have come back in a major way. Get the ball to Flores. He gets close to the goal line, but not close enough for a touchdown. Second down and two. Penn, he's going to keep it. Breaks that tackle, and then he gets thrown to the turf. So third and goal, Penn looking. Throws it to the end zone, and that pass will be intercepted. And does Eastern Michigan have a prayer? They definitely have a prayer. I don't think it's going to be answered today. You got to be patient sometimes, but it might be too little, too late, okay? Second down and six. Love throws it. Batted away by William Johnson from the 13. They need six on third and six. They throw it to William Johnson for the second time today. Give me that Yahoo! Zay Haru. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. Got my backups in the ball game. Tau Tofi. He does nothing really. Throws in the traffic. That's not a good look. Tau Tofi. Now it's going to be third down. Tau Tofi. Throwing that thing. is going to be caught by Bowser. Touchdown. 56-14. We're on a 56-0 run. How do you like us now? From the 35. They need one yard to go with a play fake. Broussard. That rhyme, not intentionally, but accidentally, and that's going to be caught by Forte down the sideline. They're going to run the ball from the 30-yard line, and they're going to pick up enough to pick up a first down barely. So this drive will continue at the 17. Broussard throws that thing. That's caught. Not for a lot. In fact, it's going to be negative one. So second down and 11, they throw it to the end zone, bat it away, is this team finally done? Third down and 11 from the 18, Bruce Sard, he's going to check it, he's going to run it, we're going to shut him down before he picks up the first down, so fourth and two, they're going to give it to Christian, and that is going to lead to a touchdown. 56-21 is the score, Tim Bryant with the recovery move, we would milk the clock from there, and we have won the MAC championship Yet again, the Mac is ours. There's no return of the Mac, okay? The Mac has been with us. We are the Mac. We've been that way for a long time. So I will do this dynasty for a long time because I really, really want to see if we're going to get invited to the Big Ten. It might not happen. It might not even be possible to happen. In other dynasties, we were invited to other uh, conferences. But, of course, that was uh, when we were independent schools and we were created schools. And usually it was like Conference USA. So again, I just want to see if it's possible. The longest dynasty that I ever done was, of course, SAU. We did that for 12 seasons. Now, I'm not saying that I am going to do that, but I just want to see if our prestige gets up there, if our ranking stays in the top 25 consistently. I just want to see if it can happen. I just want to see. Anyways, man, MAC Championship, ball game, North Texas. We're going to do the ball game. Then we're going to look at the stats and do the offseason in one whole video after our ball game video. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.